Hi lads, how's it going? Here's uh, another video of the autonomous tractor. So I'll show you the quick setup here. Uh, the battery, 12 volt battery is going to the robot claw. These two crocodile clips and the two motors, this one and that one, straight back to the, the main drive motor and the linear actuator for the steering setup we had on the tractor itself. This is your RC transmitter and the uh, RGU pilot software, uh, RGU pilot uh, mission planner for the ground control of, it, of the setup. Uh, this is the Pixhawk Cube flight controller with the GPS module just sitting on top of it and connected to it as well itself actually. And uh, the RC receiver. Uh, going into the RC input which uh, which is a PPM uh, input so it can get all the channels on available on the remote control in just uh, three lines and I have main output one and three going into the two and uh, one signal respectively of the Roboclaw with the positive and negatives, uh, positive and ground channels as well. This is what the basic setup is. So, this is where you connect your uh, ground, uh, sorry, your COM port for the Pixel controller, which I've connected already. It should be simple enough for everybody out there. Uh, accelerometer calibration. So it asks you to put it on uh, flat surface and side and everything. I have all that done. If you go into compass. We are using the APM 2.5. I have that uh, with the internal compass. I have that calibrated, or it actually gets the offsets and stuff itself. Radio calibration. So these are my channels from the radio itself. I have it armed and it's uh, in the manual mode, which is this pin here. So I should be able to move the steering forward and reverse like that so we'll go back servo servo output so it shows me what uh, the outputs I'm using so the ground steering and the throttle one and three as I said earlier E S C we are not choosing this flight modes yes so I am in the manual mode at the moment this is depending on my this switch so if I push it all the way forward to the forward position it will come into auto I don't want it at the moment because I have it armed uh, at the moment I'll show you that in a second and the fail safe is uh, kind of the same thing so if I go back uh, into the auto mode it will be in auto and at the moment I have it manual so it's not moving at all so we'll just uh, go into flight plan so this is my backyard here uh, I'll just zoom out a tiny bit oh. yeah that's my uh, estate so it is showing the home position here which is not correct this should be the home location I'll just try to update it there yes so this is exactly where I'm sitting just in the corner of the lawn and starting from there on so I have the points set up there just by clicking on the points that's uh, how easy it is one two three four so starting from one two in that corner approximately uh, three and four in that corner lovely word and come back to the home position so it's all going to be just a demo because tractor or the GPS it's not going anywhere it will try to keep uh, uh, getting its location all the time it's fairly stable at the moment which is good uh, so what I'll do here is I'll just show you quickly the flight data so this is a I'll just clear the tracks here so it have loitered around the place so it's clean now and uh, it's arm at the moment this is just a bit of uh, probably the warning for the sensor I don't know if the battery is not enough for it or something but anyway it's working so what we'll do is it says the signal is full to the channel so it should be full anyway because it's connected to the USB so arm and disarm so you can if you click on this it should uh, disarm as well it will ask you before 
so if I go into the auto mode it should start moving to try to reach the points Did you see there I'll actually just go resume mission yeah. Oh yeah, so it starts from the point two. See the way it's not moving anywhere because I think it's sitting there. So if I try to just change its direction like that, see? The steering tries to compensate for it. So if I did a 90 degree turn, it's trying to compensate for it and the motor is running all the time. Did you see? So, if we move it to the other side, it gets the info and it tries to move. You see? And if we try to move forward or worse. I hope it's good enough to see. Let's see. And the motor is trying to run as well. Just try to reach the point to have done the setup. So as we're not moving anywhere, so it just will keep running and trying to go right and left depending on the location it have. So, can you see? It should come back all the way now. Oh yeah, just trying to get its location. I'll just give it a bit of move again now towards the, where it is. So basically, it will just keep doing this. So to show you the failsafe. So let's say if something was to happen, I'll just flick this switch. So everything stops. And I have the proper control of this. Manual control. So this is my steering. It's just like this is, if I'm going that way and this way, it's just down to the setup the way we had it in the tractor. And this should control the throttle. So hope you can see it forward forward and reverse see the way the reverse is a bit slow so this is just a safety setup itself so as we can see the just the uh, location and the direction is it have tried to achieve itself but it haven't we haven't moved anywhere so we hope this uh, shows the progress we have made and uh, if we have the tractor it should be moving somewhere anyway all right so thanks very much if there are any questions let me know in the comments or whichever way you can contact me